G'day, here's a nice little deal of uh, nice bright pieces of seam opal from Lightning Ridge in the opal shop. Rules in millimetres and the material has been wetted. I'll zoom in a bit so you get a better look. OK, I've zoomed in. As you can see, some of it's still got clay on it. If I rub, tumble it anymore, it'll start wearing the opal away, I think. So the clay is free and I haven't priced that into the deal. As you can see, they're nice electric greens and blues. Some of it, like this piece, hasn't got much in it. Just, sorry, showing on the top there a little bit. Other pieces like this lend itself to possibly a nice stone, 10 by 8 or something like that. I'm not going to show every piece with this. It's a bit more sort of crystal. Yes, some of it's going to be small stones, but I don't think it's a bad value for money. These pieces like this, you need to get rid of the clay to see what, it, what it's going to turn out like. A few bigger pieces. Might be a piece of fossil, that. Mostly clay, I think. Opalized clay with the little seams of opal going through. Nice little piece of colour shining through there. Not much piece. Don't forget you can stop the video, rewind it at any time. I like this sort of material, it's sort of marbly, sort of. You end up with a pattern in the stone sometimes. Little bar of colour through the middle there. It's a bit bigger piece, looks like very, very much a piece of crystal. See the flash of colour in that, semi-crystal, crystal, on a darker base. And of course there's all these little bits, small stones perhaps with some of them. Not going to get a stone out of every piece of course. Hopefully you enjoy cutting it. <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.